Hey there friends, in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the Coinbase Pro app to purchase Bitcoin for really low fees. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm on my iPhone, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open up the Coinbase Pro app. Now, if you don't have Coinbase or Coinbase Pro, it's a great place to get involved. If you're looking for a link for a signup bonus, I'll put one in the description box below. Coinbase Pro is an upgraded version of Coinbase that allows you to do a lot more trading options. It also lowers your fees quite a bit, which is great. So once we are in the Coinbase Pro app, again, you can download this from your local application store, either the iPhone app store or a Google Android store. Basically what we're gonna do is make sure you have your account connected to a funding source. Now for us, that's a bank account. And what we do is we go over to that little icon down there at the bottom right, it looks like a person. That's your account page. There's some personal information on that, so I'm not gonna click on that. Basically, you can click a plus button and add a funding source. We have, again, our bank account connected. So what we do is, once we have all the bank information connected, we can then fund our account to begin our trades and our buys. Now to do that, we're gonna come over here to our portfolio page. Now, as you can see, we have a little bit of ether, a little bit of US dollars in here. And so what we first need to do is get money into the application. And we're gonna do that using the US dollars. So I'm gonna click on this. And then from here, we can click the deposit button. So once you click the deposit button, you can then choose the type of funding that you want to perform. Again, we have our bank account, so I'm gonna click that top one, select the amount that I want to deposit, go through a couple confirmation pages, and then basically get instant transfers or instant access to the money that you are sending from your bank account. So once we've done that, we can see that the latest deposit I made was $350 that is now in our US dollar portion of our wallet. So again, as we're looking at a portfolio, you can see we have $350 right there in the US dollar section. Now to purchase Bitcoin, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to come over on the bottom left and I'm gonna click on that little chart icon and that's gonna bring up our specific markets. Now there's a lot of different options here. You can see the top coins over here. We've got Doge, we've got Avalanche, we've got ADA, all sorts of uh, different options to choose from. I'm gonna choose the top one, obviously BTC USD pairing, and that is gonna bring us up a trading page. Now, what we're gonna do from here is we're going to go to the bottom, and as you can see, I have it on a buy and sell option here. I'm just gonna click that little buy option. And this is gonna bring us up to an order page. Now, what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to click on that little limit, and that's gonna give us a drop down. and I'm gonna click on market. Basically what this does is it says, hey, I want you to purchase Bitcoin at the exact price that it is right now at the market. I don't wanna use any kind of limit or stop or anything like that. I want it to purchase right where it's at in the market. Now again, do your own financial due diligence. Make sure you understand exactly how you're purchasing and what you want to use to purchase. Once you know what type you want to use, we can click on the amount here. And then we have an option. We can use 25%, 50%, 75%, or a max amount that's in our USD wallet. Or again, you can just type in a very specific amount if you want to do that. For me, I'm going to click max. And as you can see, we are bringing in 348 of that $50. Now, the reason it's only 348 is, as you can see, there's a dollar and 74 cent fee for purchasing and making this trade from US dollars into Bitcoin. It's gonna give you the total amount of Bitcoin that you're able to purchase. We're gonna click preview order. And as you can see, it's just making sure we understand what we're doing. Once you're satisfied that things look good, we can click that place by order. Okay, and this happens almost immediately. You can see at the bottom, our USD balance went from $350 all the way down now to $1.74. And that basically is just a little bit of that uh, slippage as the trade was being made. So again, that purchase went through. We now can go back to our market page and we can click on our little portfolio button. And as you can see, I only have $1.74 now in my US dollar uh, section of the portfolio. And I've got $347 roughly in my Bitcoin portfolio section. And that's it, friends. 
As you can see, the fees are really low. You are able to do some great purchasing. This is a good place to get involved with cryptocurrency if you're new. Again, if you need some links, we'll put them in the description box below. There should be some sign-up bonuses. Again, this is not any kind of financial advice. Do your own due diligence when you're investing in cryptocurrencies as the markets are very, very volatile. Uh, they go up and down all the time. But again, it can be a lot of fun a great place to get involved. Hope this has helped friends. If it has, hit that thumbs up button for us. We're continually trying to make super simple tutorial videos to help people get involved with cryptocurrencies. So subscribe, stay tuned, and we'll see you again on the next one.